Hey guys, so I want to share a quick revelation that I had with you by watching or listening to Veggie Tales. So I have on Veggie Tales for my daughter, and this one is called Lord of the Beans or something of that nature. And while I'm watching it, I hear this guy say that there is a special bean that can give you anything, anything you ask for. And as the um, guy, you know, the little asparagus junior, if you watch Veggie Tales, asks this older cucumber, I think, well, what do you think I should do? You're wise. You tell me what should I do with this bean? Because this younger asparagus junior has just been left this bean by his uncle so he asked what should i do with this bean you have the wisdom and he said um you know the older guy his name is randolph he said um let's go to this forest and we'll ask these trees that have been here before time they would probably know what to do with this bean again this bean holds all power now don't get lost just yet because this revelation sparked and I was like, okay, this is very interesting. But he said on the way to the trees that will give him the wisdom of what he should do with the bean. Um, because his uncle who had the bean before got everything he wanted. But he said, I still feel empty. So I'm going to go search for what I need. And he leaves the bean to his nephew, which is Junior the Asparagus. So if you're still tracking with me here what randolph said sparked something in me he said um yes you can go to this um forest of trees and they should be able to tell you you know what to do with this being they're very wise but this older devil i don't know what he called him a dark creature would give anything to have this power this is really what i'm getting to you know two minutes later he says, be careful because on the way to find these trees, you might encounter this, you know, evil man, bad guy that would get anything to have this power. So what am I getting at here? The revelation that the Holy Spirit began to drop into my spirit so quickly and so instantly, which is why I just grabbed my phone to record, is it's very much like Satan and he's saying that this evil guy, evil man, would give anything to have this power. Today, we learned in church about our authority. And as much as I think I know about my authority, there's still so much to learn and unpack. But one thing that stuck with me in the service today that is now merging with what I just heard in this movie is that we have been given all power. Jesus said in Matthew 28, 18, I believe, that... I have been given all power on earth and in the heavens. And then he says he's given us, he has given us all power in the earth, on the heavens, and even under the earth. So he gives us all authority. Are you still with me here? So if what I learned from service rings true, which it does, when Jesus was a man, because whenever he was God, he had all power anyways, but whenever he was made man, flesh, he was given all power and authority. Are you with me? So Jesus is a man and God gives him all power and authority in the heavens and in the earth. And now Jesus has given that to us. We know that from Luke ten nineteen and a host of other verses that he gives us all authority, all power to trample on scorpions and serpents and the adder and the lion. We know that from Psalm 91, from Luke ten nineteen, and the list goes on. We've been given all authority. So if Jesus made man was given all authority on heaven and earth because remember he already had it whenever he was in heaven but he set it down and was made flesh to come down here to be the savior for us so any hoozles he does that he's been given all power and authority and then to take it a step further as i'm watching this movie he says so clearly that this evil man would do anything to get this power. Now we know that we can ask for anything and it will be done in the name of Jesus and it will be done by the Father in heaven. Just as this being, you can ask for anything and it'll be done. But as he was saying, 
this evil man would give anything to have that power. It just sparked in me. You're still with me five minutes and seven seconds later. It sparked in me. That is why Satan comes after us so hard because we have been given all power <clears throat> and authority over him included. But if he comes after us and if we don't truly know our authority, he truly is willing to do anything to get that power and authority. Does that make sense to you guys? If so, put it in the comments. But I thought that was so powerful because we don't realize in us, just like Junior has this bean and he's trying to get more wisdom about this bean, which, you know, for us, it'd be going to the word of God. For him, it's going to these trees that have all wisdom that have been here since the beginning of time, i.e. the word, i.e. God for us. Um, but he has this bean. And he doesn't truly know the power that he can wield with this bean. But instead of him saying, cool, like his uncle and just asking for whatever he wants, Junior actually says, I want to know and have wisdom. Because the bean had said something that said use wisely. It had like a little inscription on it. It said use wisely. He said, I want to have the wisdom that I need for this bean. Likewise, us as Christians should go back to the word and have and ask for and seek the wisdom that we need to be able to control and fully have all of this power and authority that we have on this earth. And then we also have to know that Satan would give anything to have that power and authority. And in fact, he gets that power and authority whenever we slip back into sin, become casual Christians, or we begin to walk in the ways of the world and not in the ways of the Lord. He begins to siphon that power from us. And then we begin to become weak and tired and fatigued and upset because Satan is trying to access the power that God has given us, especially if you're born again, because he gave it to all men, all men who were in him, Christ did. So if you were even in Christ and then you slipped away for 10 years and it's like my last 10 years of my life have been horrible it's probably because Satan is coming after your being he's coming after your power and authority and if you don't go back to the word and stay in the word and like he had said you know it's a long journey to get to these trees because Junior said let's go find a tree so okay it's a long journey you're gonna have to go up this mountain to get to these trees veggie tail is so deep y'all just like it says in the bible you know um we can say that, that mountain though be moved but okay anyways i'm getting off topic um we know that we're gonna go through ups and downs we know that from psalm 23 we know that um just from he said in this world you god said in this world you will have trouble but take her app overcome the world you know we know we're gonna go through ups and downs but just like he said you have to go over these mountains to get to these trees and be careful because while you're on this journey you know our journey of life this evil bad guy would do anything to have this bean so he's going to be looking for you just like us so yes, I just broke down the first 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes of this VeggieTales movie that I know I've seen before, at least twice. We even had it on this past weekend. My eight-year-old did, but I just took 10 minutes, you know, because I'm not quite done talking. To break down, that's enough. That's enough. To break down this VeggieTales movie, because I did not want to lose this revelation from the Holy Spirit. Just from simply being open. And you know, while I'm at it, I'm here and I was reading my Bible because I really wanted to just, you know, make a habit of reading my Bible daily. So I'm here in Luke chapter 18, verse 17. And it says, she ain't been this loud, y'all, until I hit record. It says, truly, I... Luke 18, 17, truly, I tell you, anyone who will not receive the kingdom of God like a child will never enter it. And so I begin to, you know, write a little prayer, you know, Father, help me to see heaven 
like a child each day. Help me to see his kingdom like a child each day. And then I started to write down the characteristics of children. And all I got down was they're dependent on. And then the screen caught my eye and I'm like watching this movie like a child, you know, but still able to be receptive and hear from the Holy Spirit. And even that right there is powerful with what I'm reading with the Bible because God's always speaking. Yeah, especially in his word. I'm over here praying and asking you, help me, Lord, to see your kingdom like a child. And then my eyes glance up to this movie and I'm like, OK, I'm getting lost in this movie. But then the Holy Spirit just began to download and minister to me through this movie, just like a child. So beautifully intertwined. Abba, I thank you. Let's go ahead and pray. Abba, today I pray for the person listening to this to this prayer. Father, I pray that you would help us to see heaven like a child. Help us to seek your kingdom and to enter your kingdom and to receive your kingdom as it says in Luke 18, 17, like a child. Father, help us to be totally reliant and dependent on you. However you want to speak to us, may we not get so grown and adultish that we feel like we can only hear from you in certain ways, that we don't think we can be a child. Help us to be like a child every day of the rest of our lives, Lord. We dedicate our lives to you. Our all is in you. We bless you. We thank you. And it is in Jesus' precious name, I pray. Amen. All right, guys. Amen. Amen. Thank you. I'll talk to you later. See you in the next video. Be blessed. Bye.